Hello, my name is Diana Turmahan and I am the undergraduate research assistant at Institute of Smart Systems and Artificial Intelligence. This is the fourth part of our comprehensive tutorial series on speech common recognition and its data generation process. In previous tutorial, we've discussed the process of obtaining training and validation data. Specifically, we covered topics such as generating synthetic dataset using DTS, scrapping speech corpus dataset to obtain commons, and applying various audio augmentation techniques to expand the dataset. In today's tutorial, our focus will be on acquiring data for its testing purposes. In order to validate the efficiency of our approach, we collected a real-world speech common dataset via Telegram bot for testing purposes, which is called Kazakh Speech Commons dataset. This dataset aims to serve as a benchmark for evaluating speech common recognition models for Kazakh language. And if you speak Kazakh, we kindly ask you to participate in data collection to increase the dataset size and thus contribute on developing the project. The Telegram bot is called KZ Commons Collector Bot and the link provided below. Here we present the Telegram bot interface that was used to collect the data from people from different regions of Kazakhstan who took part in data collection. And we want to thank everyone who contributed to the dataset collection and thus to project development. The pipeline of work for the Telegram bot can be outlined as follows. In the beginning, the bot requests a user to input his or her gender, age, and region. Following this, the bot sequentially presents commons to the user for reading. The user can reread incorrect recorded utterances. The recordings are saved in a WAV format with a sampling rate of 16 kHz. And now let's discuss the statistics of dataset collected. Overall, 119 participants, 62 males and 57 females from different regions of Kazakhstan participated in data collection. And this shows that dataset is fairly good balanced among genders. The raw dataset underwent a manual evaluation by two moderators to remove any subpar samples, including incomplete or incorrect readings, as well as quiet or silent recordings. The dataset exhibits a balanced distribution and contains 3,623 samples in total. The recordings are one second duration and saved in WAV format with a sampling rate of 16 kHz. The dataset is available in Eastside's GitHub account and can be downloaded using the following link. If you continue on dataset statistics, based on this graph, we can see that dataset compromising 35 distinct Commons demonstrate a balance and equitable distribution across the classes, with sample counts ranging from 96 to 113 samples. And in the next tutorial, we will be talking about training and evaluating the model using generated data. Thank you for your attention.